All right, let's have a real talk about Windows. You know the drill. You're in the middle of something important, maybe editing a video, deep into a competitive game. Suddenly your screen goes blue. Windows is updating, it says. Don't turn off your computer. You didn't ask for this. You didn't approve this. But it's happening anyway, and your workflow is totally shot. This isn't a rare occurrence, is it? It feels like we've all just accepted that our computers aren't really ours. They belong to Microsoft, and they'll restart whenever they darn well please. It's a constant, nagging frustration in our digital lives. Then there's the slowdown. Remember how snappy your PC was when you first got it? You'd click an icon and bam, it opened. Now, it's like wading through digital molasses. Everything takes a little longer. Boot up time stretch into eternity. Even opening a browser feels like a chore. You've run disk cleanup. You've defragmented your drive. You've even considered a complete reinstall, the nuclear option. We buy powerful hardware, only to watch it get bogged down by the OS. And we can't ignore privacy, or the lack thereof. Windows collects a staggering amount of data about you. You can turn some off, but finding it is a maze. Feels like you pay for a product, then become the product. Plus the bloatware, the ads, the license cost. Why are we still putting up with this? The answer's been hiding in plain sight for years, getting better every day. It's Linux. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Isn't Linux just for super nerds? Not anymore. Modern Linux is powerful. Modern Linux is user-friendly. And it respects you and your hardware. Built by a global community. Open, secure, free. Forced updates, gone. On Linux, you're the captain of your ship. You decide when to update. Install now or wait a week or a month. Your system won't restart without permission. No more lost work. No more interrupted gaming. Just uninterrupted control. Linux laughs at slowdowns. Lightweight and efficient by design, uses a fraction of the resources. It stays fast, breathing new life into old hardware and making new hardware fly. Privacy. Open source transparency, no hidden telemetry. Cost, zero. Most apps, also free. A better philosophy, collaboration and freedom. Okay, big promises sound great, but day to day? If you can use Windows or Mac OS, nice, you can use a modern Linux desktop. Mint or pop? OS feel intuitive for Windows switchers. Desktop. Icons. Taskbar. Start menu. The basics are familiar. Click a browser. A browser opens. Simple. Your skills carry over in minutes. On Windows, you hunt for downloads and dodge sketchy installers. On Linux, use the software center, like a phone app store. Search, click install. The system handles it securely. Updates are centralized. One-click update system and apps. Fast, efficient, respectful of your time. File manager works as expected. Documents, downloads, pictures, music, common files work natively. It can read NTFS drives too. Daily tasks feel familiar just better, snappier, cleaner, with you in the driver's seat, a joy to use, and it all clicks faster than you think. One of the most liberating parts of Linux is customization. On Windows, you get wallpaper and a few colors. Linux hands you the keys to the kingdom, change how it looks, feels, and functions. Tailor your workflow to be efficient for you. The desktop environment is your whole shell, menu, taskbar, windows, icons. Windows gives you one. Linux offers dozens. You can even switch between them. Love the Mac OS dock? Try Pantheon or GNOME with a dock extension. Want traditional and lightweight? XFCE or Mate? Want power user features? KDE Plasma. Tools like GNOME tweaks change themes, icons, and fonts and clicks. A massive community designs gorgeous themes. Go sci-fi, minimalist, or retro. Your vibe, your rules. Reposition panels, enable tiling, add widgets for weather, system stats, calendar. Remap keys, tune animations, change how you interact. With Linux, you're not renting space, you're the architect. Own your environment completely. Theory is great, but stories matter. Take Mark, a writer. His five-year-old laptop crawled. Boots took nearly three minutes. Opening Word tested his patience. He almost dropped a grand he couldn't afford. 
We installed Linux Mint in under half an hour. The result was miraculous. It booted in under 30 seconds. LibreOffice opened instantly. A dozen tabs felt effortless. He saved a thousand bucks and revived his machine. Sarah, a design student, feared viruses and ransomware. A scare nearly cost her a semester. We set her up with Pop OS. She learned GIMP, Inkscape, and Krita, powerful and free. No heavy antivirus needed, more power for design. Peace of mind transformed her workflow. My team was skeptical about Linux for gaming. We dove in head first. Performance surprised us. Community support was incredible. We hit bumps and solved them. It changed our perspective. Linux is a powerful platform for everyone. For years, gaming was the deal breaker. Valve changed everything with Proton. Install and play Windows games with one click. A huge chunk of the catalog, including new Swadore, works. Check Proton DB. Thousands rated gold or platinum. Steam Deck runs Linux. Momentum accelerated. Top tier GPU drivers. Mango HUD shows your stats. Lutris wrangles other launchers. Anti-cheat is the biggest hurdle, but it's improving. PC gaming is no longer Windows only. Curious but nervous? You don't have to wipe anything. Boot a live USB and test Linux risk-free. Pick a beginner distro, write the ISO to USB, boot from it. Try Linux Mint Cinnamon or Pop on OS. On Windows use Rufus with an 8GB USB. Click Start. Restart. Tap your boot key and pick the USB. You get a full desktop in memory, browse, try apps, tweak. If you like it, install alongside Windows to dual boot. We've accepted forced updates, slowdown, and surveillance. Linux respects your time, hardware, wallet, and privacy. Compatibility is largely solved with open source, Wine, and the web. Gaming, driving, grab a USB, download Mint, take it for a spin.